This is Halloween. Hi, Cancer. How are you? If you're new, how welcome to the show, and this is your weekly reading before i start i want to remind you guys that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free well not everything is going to resonate with everybody please keep in mind that roles could be reversed in between energies and with this said um let's move forward i also want to invite you guys to check out my spotify i do weekly podcasts on spirit topics in english and spanish as also do tarot stuff over there for those who follow me on spotify so if you want to check it out check the description box below for more details for the link <laughs> So, okay, okay, we got here the um, Eight of Roses in the Reverse, the Queen of Mirrors, the Nine, the nine of Rings, the Seven of Mirrors here as well. Um, we got here the Four of Rings, the Queen of Roses. Um, okay, the Queen of Roses, the Ten of Roses in the Reverse, the Fans, the Gossip, and the... Oof, girl, shush, sit down. Oh, let me tell you. Okay, fa <laughs> Leo Sagittarius Aries right away. Okay, we got here Libra Gemini Aquarius. We got Taurus Virgo Capricorn, and this is the same energies we see over and over and over in in your energy, Cancer and Pisces. By the way, so I do see that <laughs> you're gonna get in trouble, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're gonna get in trouble. There's somebody here who you were involved, like you you know you were involved with, and this person is gonna get caught. This person has somebody else, right? And they were talking to you and then you find out that they could have been taken and then you stop talking to this person. But they're actually blaming you for something because their actual partner is going to find out. And you're going to be blasted here, okay? You're going to get blasted. And this girl who is, or this partner of theirs, is going to try to, I don't know, troll you because... I don't know they need some self-esteem and they're gonna call you miss second place literally so with this said here there is an energy of this person being possessive and manipulative and they're going to expose some of your text messages that you have with this person or something that you had with this person and then you're gonna be in some very dirty gossip and this person instead of being like being dragged down people are gonna praise that People are going to be like, oh, bro, like, fun. And they're going to be roasting your nalgas out. The hell? You're going to be involved in... Oh, my gosh. And you're going to be heartbroken because you thought this person loved you or cared for you. And then not only for them to not treat you with respect, but also to make fun of you. This person is also going to, pr like, uh, get engaged with the, their partner, though. And... Um, they're gonna make fun of you they're gonna he's going to or she's going to like show those text messages and um, you guys are not gonna even be friends you guys are gonna be enemies though because this person is gonna be so rude and disrespectful and this is a situation for you to reflect for sure it's gonna be the end between you and this person because they're being salty as hell I do see, besides this, uh, your career improves. I do see you being like an executive producer or being able to be behind scenes of something important. You can be a translator. You can also be uh, working in TVs or working for like a producing something behind scenes. Um, besides the negativity of the relationship, your career gets you somewhere. I do see, uh, Cancer, that your career goes better and you actually get where you need to be and you're gonna feel more comfortable with your career and yourself i do see that this person's uh current partner possible fiance is going to be always kind of like close to you i do feel like you guys could work together and not you and the partner but most likely you and that this person that ex quote exposed you um and this person's gonna always be near because they're jealous of you I do feel like a sense of transformation for you being able to like go and restore. I do feel like you learn your lesson from this per this the situation. Uh, you're no longer as insecure. You gain your confidence back, and you realize that there's not always a reason to fight back. Not everybody needs uh, 
needs a reaction but also what is interesting here in between this person that also becomes your enemy in a way to perform i do see that you guys become enemies in a way to perform if i must say it like that because there's a sense of like being attracted to each other but not being able to be together because either or you don't want to know more or there's something else but i do see that's yet to be continued they're not going to be out of your life they're going to be always in your life in a way to perform not only as a friend but also trying to be more than that so it's more like a forbidden love kind of thing and it's like you pushing them away and then they're always trying to come back to you and it's like kind of like drama to be honest and the hot seat right here i do see that you're going to have a, a very intense conversation with somebody else i do see a dude uh, i do see uh, an, a person a man and it's also telling me november okay november and there's going to be an important conversation there uh with the moon and the reverse right here and to where everything comes out and you have to be honest because this person that is like bitter as hell that you're no longer with um is tells this person that you could be dating or that you could be in the future dating in the future or so and it's like clarifying the air and i do see that you have to apologize to somebody not necessarily this person that exposed you but somebody else and um I do see that it takes time for for you to to gain this past person uh, or this person that you're apologizing get their trust again but i do see that you're still together and i do feel that like you guys actually make recon reconcile by 2022 like january actually giving yourself a kiss by the very last day and of january and actually feeling like it's the first kiss i do feel like you guys could have a lot of problems and issues in the relationship or situationships and this person got in the way and he's represented this past person that actually quote exposed you or wants to it's like the devil so at this point um i do feel like you reconcile with the actual partner that you care for and you learn your lesson and you're no longer blindsided by nobody but you're going to be betrayed by that person let me tell you that you're going to be held betrayed and even though that they're gonna betray you they're gonna try to reach out to you and say hey you know i have a hotel or i have a room i don't even don't even so i do see that this girl that he's with um he is actually um gonna get this girl pregnant and there's a high chance that he could also become or that he also become a single parent now they're gonna actually get uh free i don't know why but they're gonna get flesh eating bacteria this person is i don't know why you gotta know this but they're gonna get flesh eating bacteria either or from something they ate like especially like some meat and you're gonna find out and uh, they're gonna actually be in between they're gonna lose a lot of weight uh they're gonna be in treatment because that's what they did but also this is kind of like karma for them because you're not the only person that they played with so just so you know this is coming for this person too i do feel like that's when this person uh in the end apologizes to you because you know they've been through so much that apologizes to you and you just let it go and that's when you realize that you don't feel anything for this person that you are literally done with this person and allows you to pretty much feel free from that uh, also you release a little bit the feeling of feeling like second choices and you realize that you never were interested with this person for the right reasons and maybe you realize that you were just you know needing something at the point at that point i do see that they could also ask you out again and be like hey can we try it again and you say no because you're just not wanting to be with this person no more in any way shape or form interesting reading anything else for cancer finalize the reading today they want you to put yourself first and also focus in your career and yourself and your friends trying to reconnect trying to hang out with them trying to find that love and you're also a daydreamer and you i don't know i think that makes you very special very emotional very loving and they want you to also focus in your friends and have fun with your friends and open it up a little bit more about your feelings with your current partner and try to you know just work things out it says right here that pleasure is always good but pleasure is temporary and be careful with people who are um 
impersonating people on first impressions keep in mind that some people see what you need and they're going to give you that exactly but i do see that your career takes a, a twist in a positive way and that your love life with this person that you maybe wanted or want is going to end it because they're going to show you that they're not good people but at the end of the day you know things happen and then you know you reconcile with them in a friendly way and things get better for you you know now um we got here the possible initials here this could be the first last metal or even a nickname i'm going to use some names just to give you an example of the letter the names are not necessarily related to the person but the initials now this is x as xavier z as insane l as in leo k k as in kfc w as in william j as in jason c as in cat b as in boy and i as in ian these are the possible initials for this person again this could be their first last middle or even a nickname initial so before i go i want to give you an arcane archangel in um card <laughs> oh gosh i've been recording for many hours many many hours to yeah but i'm gonna give you the archangel um cards and uh, a message as well there we go okay i'm gonna do it i wanted just one card please and thank you man thank you so much we got here one two three <laughs> it says vision your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay, the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Then we got affirmations. My path is mine and mine only. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. So this is the end of the reading guys i hope you guys liked it please do not forget to like and subscribe also i want to invite you to follow me on instagram i tend to follow back i am also on tiktok you can also follow me on spotify like i said in the beginning i do weekly podcasts there about multiple you know like spiritual topics and whatnot and other tarot stuff to my followers over there so you want to follow me there so if you want to know more i'm also on facebook group if you don't have ig um if you want to get a personal reading i do offer them you can book with me directly online in the description box below you're going to always find the link for my website and with this said guys thank you so very much for the love and support and have an amazing day